So let's discuss the differences between serverless and fully managed. Both these terms are used a lot when we talk about the cloud services. So let's see what are the actual differences between these two terms. So when we say uh, the service is a serverless service on the cloud, then it means that we are paying for what we are using. So it's like Uber model, like Uber car when you hire taxi. So you are paying for what you use. So you pay for what you use. When we say fully managed, then we are paying for the runtime of the machines, even though machines may not be in use. So they are up and running. So we are paying for that. So when we say it is serverless, then the machines are completely opaque to us. So that means we don't even know how many servers are being created behind the scene. For example, let's take BigQuery. So BigQuery will charge you based on the amount of data that you process. So you don't even know how many servers were created behind the scenes. So that is like completely opaque to us. Apart from that, when we talk about fully managed, then you specify, let's say you are creating a data proc cluster on Google Cloud Platform, then you are specifying like how many masters, how many workers, specifically like you will scale worker machines, but still you have the visibility like you need one master or you need high availability in the master side. Uh, but you will, you will specify like how many uh, workers are there, like you have that visibility. So machines, uh, number of machines are uh, visible or you know like how many are there. Apart from that, here in serverless, no server management is there, which is very much related to the previous point. So here uh, in fully managed, we don't have to install no setup required. So apart from no setup required, uh, it will take care of automated backups it will take care of uh, backups. It will take care of patching of those machines like security patches or maybe OS patches. It will take care of that. So it, it will take care of many other aspects that usually administrator is responsible for. So all these things are taken care by the cloud provider. So uh, this is like highly replicated and uh, you can say highly available so these are the features that you can easily get from the cloud provider. But in general, just understand serverless is a code execution architecture with specific characteristics. So while fully managed is a product category. So I'm actually trying to explain this more so that it is 100% clear like what exactly is the difference. So when I choose to write applications to execute in a serverless environment, then I don't care where they run. They should automatically scale. They should be like event driven. They should load, unload uh, various uh, like uh, various aspects of the application should unload, load uh, as required, right? So if you go for the non-serverless, then I want to control the execution environment explicitly. But when we talk about managed services, then it is simply uh, defined functionality provided and maintained by someone other than me. So that is cloud provider. I hope you got some idea behind uh, serverless and fully managed. So if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.